Dracula Untold is the origin story of how Vlad, Prince of uh, Wallachia, um, became the fictional character of Bram Stoker's novel. So it's a trajectory from history, you know, all the way into fiction. The love between Vlad and Marina, um, it's one of those, it's, it's one of those timeless love stories. I mean, that's what we were trying to tap into. We we're trying to tap into this idea of uh, love everlasting and it'll go on through the centuries. Um, these are two people that found themselves and, and, and found each other in very difficult um, times and were there for each other. Reading back in Bram Stoker's novel, you know, he had all these different powers that, you know, it's quite enviable to any modern superhero. It was power of strength, you know, the, the ability to, to disappear, turn into fog, and uh, move, move around a, a room at lightning speed, be able to transform into a creature or, or, or a beast of burden or, a, or an animal. We were really there for each other from the very beginning. We, we talked all the time about the character. Um, and we always tried to find a way of not making an impersonation of what we thought Vlad um, Tepish was, but trying to make this character that you know Luke would make his own, and he he nailed it. There may be a public awareness there, but what do you bring to the table? What's going to be different? What's the what's the soul of the film? Hopefully, what's universal about the film is this idea of um, family. Um, what one will do to what, what what kind of sacrifices will, will you do um, in face in the face of you know incredible um, opposition? What will you do for your own family? Um, and that for me was the, the personal appeal, and hopefully I think you know people will understand it and and they'll hopefully be able to um, connect with it.